Hi everybody, welcome to another in our series of Economics Revision MCQs. This is where we take a past exam question, you can have a go at it, and then we look together at the right answer, hopefully we agree, and the, the reasoning and the intuition behind the answer. This is a question uh, which is data heavy, it's about interpreting some macroeconomic data. So let's take a look at the question. We have three graphs here and they indicate the economic performance of a country between the years 2011 through 2014. The question is which conclusion may be drawn from the data in the graphs? Which conclusion can be drawn from the data in the charts? This is the moment to press the pause button on the YouTube video. Have a go at the question yourself. I'll be back in a few moments with the right answer. So three charts showing industrial production, uh, consumer prices and GDP. What conclusion can be drawn from the data? The answer is D. Hope you got that right. At no time between 2011 and 2014 did industrial production, GDP or prices fall. Now the key to this, key to getting this right, is to look at the y-axis. In each case, in each case here, we're showing the percentage change in, <clears throat> or percentage increase in production, prices, GDP. Of course, production could fall, in which case the percentage change would be negative. But in no <clears throat> chart there is the percentage level on the y-axis negative. Just looking very briefly at the other options. So first of all, A, between 2011 and 2012, industrial production and GDP fell, but prices rose. Well, <clears throat> industrial production, the growth of industrial production fell from about 9% down to close to zero. That's a slowdown in production. But of course, it still remains positive, albeit only just. So industrial production was still increasing, but at a, a slow rate. It was a slowdown. Likewise, when we think about B, um, in 2012-2013, the rate of inflation fell from, let's say, 14% to about 9%. We call that disinflation. Disinflationary pressure is when the rate of inflation decelerates, comes down. But of course, consumer prices are still going up. So GDP, um, <clears throat> so it says the rates of growth of industrial production, GDP and prices all increased. No, in 2013, the rate of inflation fell. So B's wrong. Let's see, GDP and industrial production were at their lowest in 2012. Well, let's just take GDP as an example here, just across the across the three, four years shown. Um, 2012 was the year of the slowest growth of GDP, likewise industrial production. But, but again, both charts were showing positive percentage growth, albeit slower growth. So 2012 was the slowest growth of, of GDP, but the economy still grew in this country by about 1%. So the key point to take away from this is that in, in lots of data questions now, uh, the examiners are essentially testing your understanding of the difference. And the key difference it is between a level and the rate of change. And this is essentially what this question is testing. So my hint for you as you go into the, in the exam period, is always with a data question, look very carefully at the y-axis. Are we showing levels of something or are we showing percentage changes of something? Looking carefully at the y-axis can absolutely help you to answer the question. Lots more of these on our YouTube site, a chance to test yourself on past exam questions and work through the answers together. Okay, thank you.